G'day guys and welcome back to Ados the Great YouTube channel. So guys, in today's video, we are going to be talking finals week two. I'll be going over how I went last weekend and then I'll be giving you my finals week three predictions. But before we get into it, guys, can I please ask if you are new here, hit that sub button, guys. It's only like 11% of people that watch my content are subscribed. So if you could hit that sub button and mean the absolute world to me. We're aiming for 5k subs by the end of the year. I think we're only about 48 away or something like that. It's crazy. If you could help me out and hit that sub button, would mean the absolute world to me. All right. So last Friday, we had Melbourne against Carlton. I backed the Blues in this one. I thought they'd get the job done and they did. It, I think it was only a two point margin, 71 to 73, I believe. Very low scoring sort of affair, but man, I tell you what, Carlton came out, they, they they wanted this game more, they wanted it more, they got it. Uh, Melbourne had a lot of missed opportunities in my opinion, and that's what we've seen uh, throughout this whole final series, as well as last year really as well. So, you know, Carlton, to their credit, they came out, they wanted it more, they got the job done. Credit to them, they move on to the preliminary final. So that is one tick there for me. Next up in the uh, second semi-final on Saturday, we saw Port Adelaide take on GWS at Adelaide Oval. Uh, I did back Port Adelaide in this one. I thought they'd get a decent win there over the Giants. However, it was not to be. That, that is an incorrect tip. I will take that one. That is my first one for the whole AFL final series. That's crazy. I was five and five before this, and now, uh, yeah, unfortunately, I uh, didn't get the chockies in this one. But credit to GWS. GWS were very good in this game. Port Adelaide were very disappointing to say the least. I thought they'd be a lot better than they were, but yeah, they they, they just were poor. GWS like Colton came to play. They got the job done, and two top four teams are gone. Crazy. So now we are left with Brisbane, Collingwood, Carlton, and GWS. So let's talk about finals week three, the preliminary finals, the first game, the Friday night game. Personally, I think this is going to be a cracker of a game. We've got Collingwood taking on the Greater Western Sydney Giants. This should be a pretty good game in my opinion. Now, if we look back at some history, they've played 14 games, these two clubs. Collingwood have won eight, GWS obviously then winning six. In the last five games, GWS have had the green over Collingwood, winning three of those five games. However, when GWS play at the MCG, they've played 28 games there, they've only won seven. So not great uh, if you're looking at that for them. And Collingwood's win percentage is fifth overall out of every club. Um, they're sitting at 54% for their win percentage at the MCG. So a few things to look at here, like obviously GWS, um, you know, in the last five games, they have won more. So uh, based off current form, you know, you could say that we could see an upset here, but look, Collingwood have realistically uh, been the better side all year, 100%. Like, if you disagree with that, I think you're an absolute idiot. Collingwood have been the form side of the comp all season, and GWS tend to not play that well at the MCG. So for me, I am tipping Collingwood here. I think the Magpies will win this one by about 21 points. That is my margin there. I'm going 21 points. Uh, my goal score, my goal scoring tip for this one is Toby Green to continue his form and kick two goals in this one. So once again, guys, Collingwood versus GWS. I'm back in Collingwood by 21. Uh, let me know who you're backing in this one down in the comments, guys. So Collingwood are my first team through to the grand final. Uh, however, you know, I would love to see a non two non-Victorian teams in the grand final. I think that would be outstanding, but I just cannot see that happening. I think Collingwood will be way too good. Um, yeah, look, to be honest, there's, there's heaps of awesome storylines here. Collingwood versus Brisbane in the grand final. Take it back to 2003. Uh, that'll be outstanding to see as well. Uh, you've then got Collingwood versus Carlton, arguably one of the biggest rivalries in Australian sports. If they played in the grand final, it would just, it would break the media, in my opinion. It would be 
insane. And then obviously you've got the other narrative, Brisbane versus GWS, uh, two non-Victorian teams in the grand final. Again, there's three awesome narratives here. I think that, I think, was it 2003? Collingwood played Brisbane in the grand final. That might have been Essendon. I can't remember. But it was around then. The 2001, 2002, 2003 Brisbane Lions were next level. So Brisbane would like to replicate that, I'm sure. So yes, Collingwood are my first tip there by 21 points. In the second game, Saturday uh, Saturday afternoon. So this one's at 5.15pm, I believe, on Saturday. Uh, we've got the Brisbane Lions against the Carlton Blues. Now, the obvious stat to take from this is Brisbane have not lost a game at the Gabba in 2023. That is crazy. That is a crazy stat. They are undefeated at home. That is insane. And they also have a 61% uh, win percentage at the Gabba as well as a whole. Very good stat there for them also. And Carlton, they've only won nine out of their 26 games played at the Gabba. So, not too confident with that stat there for Carlton. Carlton have won 16 games head-to-head, -head, whereas the Lions have won 22. So the Lions have definitely been the better team. But this is one of the better Carlton teams I think we have seen in a very long time. So, you know, stats don't always matter. Stats are not always the be-all and end-all. Uh, you never know what happens at in, in any game. Like Anybody can beat anyone except for my West Coast Eagles. We're not going to go there. Uh, also, the final stat I've got on this one is the Lions have won the last four games against the Blues by a margin of 24 points. So, look, everything's going the way of the Lions here. They're literally the best in every single stat that I have listed here. So I am tipping the Lions. Look, I don't think we'll see another 24-point win uh, for Brisbane, but I do think they'll win by about 16 points is my tip. Um, and a goal scorer tip, I've actually got three. And that's Charlie Kerno, uh, Joe Danaher, and Charlie Cameron all to kick two goals. So that is my little, um, I don't know, I guess you could say multi-builder there for the weekend. And if you are going to use my predictions uh, for a multi or to bet, please, guys, all I ask is you do it responsibly. Um, yeah, lot, chances are you're going to lose. That's... That's pretty much it. But uh, yeah, guys, very excited for this weekend's action. Uh, once again, Collingwood by 21, Brisbane by 16. Uh, I think it'll be a cracker weekend of footy. Let me know your tips once again down below, guys. Also, leave a like and subscribe. And as always, my friends, I will see you in the next one. Thanks, guys.